Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Talbot Maths video. And this week's problem is trying to find uh, what tan alpha is based on this triangle here. Now, uh, the unique thing about this triangle is that the top, as you can see, can be flipped down and it directly meets uh, the base of the triangle at a point uh, A apostrophe. Okay, so can we work out just by the two lengths on the bottom, which when you flip this top half of the triangle down, um, we get lengths of six and eight. Can we use those numbers to find a value for tan alpha? Okay, if you want to have a go at this problem yourself, pause the video now, otherwise I'm going to show you my solution. Okay, so the first thing is to make this triangle a bit bigger, uh, zoom it in, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start marking on some angles. So I've got 90 minus alpha. The next thing, is I am going to label the bottom left and right angles of the larger triangle. Now they must be uh, the same because they're corresponding angles. We've got parallel lines where the fold is and at the base of that triangle. So they must be equal angles. Now, if we draw in what the folded triangle would look like, we get uh, this, and then we've got this point A apostrophe uh, down the bottom as well. And let's mark on their equal side lengths because obviously it's been flipped down. So we've got that. And then using alternate angles, again between the parallel lines, so one parallel line being the base of the triangle and the other, uh, the line that the, the top and smaller triangle is folded over. Using those, we've got alternate angles. And so we can get this angle now, um, B, A apostrophe D and so on. And, and you know the one just next to it, E, A apostrophe C. And that means that because those two base angles are equal, that we've got isosceles triangles now down here. Okay. Now, they're not similar because the angles aren't the same, but they are two different isosceles triangles. Now, the next thing is, or uh, was a little bit tricky to figure out, but it's the key really to solving this problem. What you need to do is we need to put some vertical lines in. And the reason that is, is because tan uh, of, of any angle, tan alpha, is equal to opposite over adjacent. And remember, the only numbers we have got is for the base of this triangle. Okay. Now, you can see I've already put the right angles in there because we've dropped perpendiculars. So they must be right angles. And I'm going to now work out these top angles of these smaller bottom left bottom right triangles b d a apostrophe a apostrophe e c um, and then i am going to refer back to the original diagram with my six and my eight and use that to uh, label the threes and the fours of these bottom triangles okay then what i'm going to do and i want to work out this height h or i'm going to label with h anyway so I'm going to label that H, zoom it back in, label the vertical heights there, H. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working out. I've got basically two different numbers uh, for H, um, or sorry, not, not for H, but I can, I can uh, basically work out tan theta in terms of H two different ways, or tan alpha for H in, in two different ways, using the three and using the four. Now the first equation I'm going to get is using the three tan alpha is 3 over h because like i said earlier tan alpha is opposite over adjacent if you uh, have heard or seen sokotoa or have done any right angle trigonometry before hopefully you should remember that or be aware of that so we get 3 over h now the second equation we get from the the bottom right triangles so you know um well I haven't labelled them, so to speak, down there, but you can see either of those ones, A apostrophe, E, and then dropping the perpendicular, or E, C, and then the perpendicular line. Uh, you get tan alpha is H over 4, and then if we rearrange one of these for H, so I went the second one, 4 tan alpha is equal to H, times both sides there by 4. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plug that back into uh, our first equation for H. So let's substitute that back in, and we're going to get tan alpha is equal to 3 over 4 tan alpha, which was our value for h. We're going to rearrange that, and we're going to get tan squared alpha is 3 over 4, or 3 quarters. And then finally, we're going to square root that, and we're going to get square root of 3 over the square root of 4, which is 2. 
it's pretty cool pretty neat i think so you know put let's put a box around it just to highlight that that's our answer okay i hope that you enjoyed that problem it's quite a, i don't know i felt like fairly tricky problem you had to you had to you know notice that you had to get the perpendicular that's the key bit for this problem uh, if you manage to do it any other ways please put it down in the comments now after i'd done this method i did find a different method uh, which i'm not going to go through all the steps for you know in, in terms of the breakdown like i have done for this one but it's a different way slightly different way of doing it but it, again it uses the perpendicular so it's instead of breaking it down and flipping the triangle down and doing two smaller perpendiculars you can drop one perpendicular and basically you've got your eight and you've got your six and you you can work that out again in two different ways simultaneous equations and you get the same answer of course okay i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you next week for another video till then bye bye i hope you liked that video and if you did why not check out one of the other ones just over here and why not subscribe that'd be a good idea anyway i'll catch you in the next one see ya